Turkey's Aegean coast is a land of pine-clad limestone mountains and broad fertile plains. The rich river valleys yield bumper crops of cotton, tobacco, olives, figs and sultanas, those small flavorful grapes dried to make golden raisins. The Aegean climate is mostly mild and pleasant with hot dry summers and cool rainy winters. In ancient times, the Aegean coast was a land of kingdoms. Aeolis, later Pergamum, Caria, Ionia and Lydia. It produced some of history's most memorable people, including King Midas of the Golden Touch, King Croesus, the inventor of coinage, the poet Homer and Herodotus, the world's first great historian. Pergamum, in the North Aegean, rose to prominence after the death of Alexander the Great in 323 BC. Soon, its king ruled much of western Anatolia. Parchment was invented here, helping Pergamon's library of more than 200,000 books to rival that of Alexandria. The Asclepian of Pergamon, directed by Garlan, was the world's first great medical center. Izmir, Turkey's third largest city, dominates the central Aegean coast. Badly damaged by war in 1922, it is now a vibrant modern city set on broad Izmir Bay. Looming above the city centre is Kadifekale, a hilltop fortress built by Alexander the Great. Balchava, on the outskirts, is famous for its healthful hot springs. Ephesus, once the capital of Roman Asia Minor, is the best preserved classical city on the Aegean and among the finest sites in the world. Walk its marble streets past classical temples, libraries and houses to the 24,000 seat Great Theatre. And you can easily imagine yourself transported back to Roman times. Ephesus grew rich from trade coming into its well-sheltered harbour. Pilgrims travelled the royal road from the east to pay homage to Cybele Artemis, the Anatolian fertility goddess. Her stupendous temple at Ephesus, called the Artemision, was among the seven wonders of the world. St Paul preached to throngs in the great theatre, and legend has it that the Virgin Mary came to Ephesus with St John at the end of her life. Among the highlights of a stroll through Ephesus are the second century Library of Celsus, beautifully restored, the Temple of Hadrian from about the same time, the Odeon or Council Chamber, and the Prytanian or City Hall. The terrace houses on the hillside overlooking the main street are filled with fine mosaics. Many have been restored. For an entirely different view, head eastwards into the mountains to Shirinje, a charming town surrounded by vineyards and fruit orchards. Relax in one of its restaurants and enjoy a glass of local fruit wine. South of Ephesus, the ruins of ancient Prien are perched on a plateau backed by a sheer rock cliff. Beneath the plateau sprawls the broad flood plain of the river Meander whose name is now used to describe twisting, turning rivers everywhere. Vienne flourished during the second century BC and was among the first cities to have a right angle street plan. Set on this innovative street grid are Vienne's great buildings, such as the Temple of Athena, the theater, the gymnasium and the stadium. South across the flood plain from Vienne is Miletus, an even larger and more important city with a freestanding 15,000 seat theatre. Built in Hellenistic times, the Miletus Theatre was repaired extensively by the Romans and is still in very good condition. Miletus flourished from 700 BC to 700 AD. It was among the largest cities in Anatolia boasting a population of nearly 100,000. Many famous people were born here, including the philosopher Anaximander, 
the mathematician Thales, the city planner Hippodamus, and Isidorus, the architect of Hagia Sophia in Istanbul. A short distance south of Miletus is Didyma, famed for its gigantic marble Temple of Apollo, from which mystic priests issued enigmatic prophecies rivaling those of Delphi. The famous South Aegean resort of Bodrum, known in ancient times as Halicarnassus, was the birthplace of Herodotus, the father of history. Halicarnassus enjoyed its great prosperity during the 4th century BC under King Mausolus. Upon his death, his wife fulfilled his plan for a gigantic royal tomb. Called the Mausoleum, it was among the seven wonders of the world. Crusader knights later built a romantic castle on the point of land between Bodrum's two perfect bays. It's now the world's foremost museum of underwater archaeology. Today, Bodrum is among Turkey's favorite seaside resorts. Noted for its waterfront restaurants, its many yachts, and its chic nightclubs.